Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you some iPhoto printing tricks. So a lot of people get frustrated by iPhoto's printing options. There's actually a lot you can do there, but it's not all obvious. Let me show you some of the most common requests. So let's say you want to print several photos on a page. So you select four photos here in an event and you go to File, Print. And now it comes up and you can print a photo that covers the entire page, a contact sheet like that, uh, something with a simple border, one photo per page, or several mats. But suppose you want to print all four of these photos nicely on the page, not like this. Well, the trick is that you want to hit the Customize button. When you do that you go into a completely different mode in iPhoto. And here in this printing mode you can select several things. First thing you want to do is go down to the bottom and select Themes. And here's where you can choose exactly how you want things to look. So you may want to pick Standard for instance and that just puts a photo over an entire sheet. But say I want to put all four photos together on one sheet. I would go to a simple border theme. And from that then I can adjust the background if I want, adjust the borders if I want. But I can also adjust the layout here at the bottom and say I want four per page. Choose exactly how I want those four to look and you can see now I've got all four photos on a single page. Now I just hit the print button to send it to my printer. Now suppose I wanted to have four copies of the same photo on a page. You can do that in iPhoto as well. So let me cancel this here and select the one photo that I want to print. Go to File, Print and I'm going to hit Customize again. And then what I'm going to do here is under Themes I'm going to again select a simple border and under Layout I'm going to select 4. And you can see what's happened here is it shows me four different spots but I only have one photo to fill it. At the top here I have a little browser and I'm browsing now the pages in my printout but I can switch to browsing the photos I'm going to print out. I can drag and drop. So I can drop that photo to all four locations. I could even adjust these individually. So say I wanted to take this one right here and zoom in on it and I could even use the hand here to reposition exactly what area of the photo is zoomed in. Another theme I could play with is the contact sheet theme. And here I could also add multiples just by dragging this down here. And I could just fill in the blanks. Another thing you can do is adjust these images individually. So for instance I'll leave this one plain. I'll take this one and I'll hit the adjust button and I'll adjust it and say have it print out with that effect. I'll select this one, hit adjust, use that effect and this one I'll just increase the definition and highlights. And now I've got four versions of the same photo I can print out on the same page and then compare. Now another thing you do is select several photos and instead of saying print you can go and create a book or a card. Let's create a book here and just choose from one of the many many themes here um, something you like. Maybe just worry about the front cover like let's do this. Let's create the book but we are not going to order anything from Apple. Instead what we're going to do is go into just this front page here. We can make adjustments to these photos, drag and drop photos to them, do all sorts of things, change what's here um, and we can even change the layout. Tons of options that are meant for printing books. But you can simply decide to print just a single page of this. So I'm going to print the first page as a cover. Um, go from one to one. So just printing that one page. That's all I really want out of this. So getting to know your way around the book creation interface can be useful for just printing out single pages at home even if you're never going to actually order a book. And if you want to go the opposite way and actually make things simpler one of the things you can do is simply drag a photo to another application like say I'm going to drag it uh, below here you can't see it but to preview and I, it just opens up the photo in preview. Now I can simply print from preview with much simpler, quicker options than doing it from iPhoto. So there are some iPhoto 11 printing tricks that I use. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.